Welcome back little coders to another video on my channel. Creative Codeling here and today we're going to be talking about teams on Roblox Studio. So, I'm going to be answering questions like what is a team, how to make a team, and more. So, I'm going to head to the script here that I have and we're going to start talking about the lesson. So here we have lesson and the lesson's going to be all about teams and then the details of what I'm going to be talking about when it comes to teams is what are teams, how to make a team, how to assign a team to all players, and how to make a team only using a script. So I'm going to be teaching about how you can make those so that you guys can become little professionals at teams. So let's get started. The first thing we want to know is how to assign a team. Well, actually no, sorry. We have to first talk about what are teams. So teams are teams. People kind of already know what teams are. It's like people versus another group of people and it can be a 1v1, a 2v2, etc, etc. Teams are just groups of people in their own sort of clan or a group. That's what a team is. I don't think I really needed to define that, but I did. So, in this case, for teams, a team inside of here in Roblox Studio is a team. So inside of the teams folder, we get to create our own teams, which can be named whatever we want, and we can make it so that people are in a group or team. It would be seen on the leaderboard to be able to tell who who is on what team. So. Now you're going to wonder how to make a team like I have right here. In order to make a team, you just simply click up here on teams, click team, and then you can name it and do stuff with it. Now with this example team that I just made, we're going to go to properties and I want to show you the things that you can do with this. So, so things that are going to be important when it comes to assigning a team and how to make a team only using script, I might need to explain some things here. So for data which is sort of the only thing that has stuff, is auto-assignable. So this makes it so that you automatically go on that team. Even if you try to use a script to assign it to another thing, the auto-assignable will sort of overtake that script and instead make it whatever is auto-assignable assigned. So we're going to unassign un that instead so that we can actually assign it to the green team instead. So the name, we already know what those do, you just change the name. And parent teams, you want to make sure it's on teams or else it won't work. And team color. Okay, this is a sort of important thing to add when you're making a team. If you don't do it, then it's going to automatically go to gray and you might want to add some color. So you have to remember to actually add a color with it, which I'll show how to do it with a script. But on here, you just simply choose anything from this uh, hexagonic um, shape here. And I maybe want to choose a nice pastel blue. And if we ran the game right now, we would uh, see it. The team with pastel blue. So, when assigning a team, you want to do local teams. So you want to get the service. We're pretty common with that as well. A lot of stuff here is pretty familiar. So this shouldn't be too much. It's pretty... Honestly, it is a quite simple um, topic here, but I did want to just explain it in case because you might be making some sort of uh, team battle game, for example, or something that has to incorporate teams and you might know, not know. So I wanted to explain it now. So, really with this. And so here, game.players get added, connect to a function. And then here, the, the main thing here is player.team. So player I just is the parameter here and then dot team is teams this variable here dot green so green is this color I mean no this team so if we go to here okay this is making a team using a script so on here we're making a new team and then you, you can call it whatever you want by the way is equal to instance dot new because we're in making a new op team itself you write team and then the comma in teams the word teams is the um, the service itself so we're putting the team in as the child inside teams then new team dot name so we're giving it a name so that 
this is what it's going to display when we look on the leaderboard and new team dot team color is equal to red color dark blue i just decided dark blue because why not new team dot auto assignable equals false so we, the, you might be wondering why i shouldn't um if you, you might for a second wonder why uh, i should do it with the script it's because uh, it's not really open right now we don't really have that team over here instead so we have to sort of manually do it with a script well no automatically so now that we have that done we can run the game and it should work Hopefully you guys were following along because then you can become little pros at making teams. So now we have three teams. The team example I made, the new team that we scripted, and green that was already uh, pre-made when before I was making this video. So And I'm automatically put inside it as well because of the script. So here I am, walking around on the team green. You could do things so you don't really need to make it so that it sets a team only when the player is added to the server as a client. Instead, what you could do is just simply take this and use it at any time you want. So player.team equals teams.green or teams whatever team it is. Then you can put it inside um, anything for uh, conditional statements or etc. etc. So uh, that's teams for you. Now we have uh, gone over the basics of teams. If you want to learn more, the team, the Roblox wiki, um, with automatically set up with um, the search searched up um, teams. I'm gonna put it in my description so that you guys can check it out. Hopefully, I remember this time. Anyways, I'll see you on next Sunday. I hope you have an amazing day slash night, and bye.